Hello engineers, this is an introduction video for Azure DevOps in order to start and build your first pipeline. If you like my videos, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. The first thing you need to do in order to getting started is to create a new project inside your DevOps organization. You can access your DevOps organization using the dev.azure.com slash your organization username. So you can also create a new organization or use a created one. So if you don't already have your organization, create a new one and then you will be ready to start building your pipelines. So I have already created two projects inside this organization, but I will now create a new one. The first thing that we need to put in our project is the name. So I will name it YouTube example. And we can also add a description on it. I will make this project private so that I only have access on it and it's not publicly available. So as long as the project is being created, we can wait and see the sections that one can find. So in order to start and build your first pipeline, you should have to go under pipelines and then select pipelines then you will be able to create your first pipeline there are two main ways that you can create your pipelines you can use either the classic editor or a yaml editor that can be hosted on a git source control program as github or azure repos git the first pipeline that I will create is the classic editors pipeline. Generally, it is preferred to use the YAML pipelines as is the newest way that Microsoft has created and is also supported. The classic GUI pipelines is somehow deprecated. So firstly, I will create a classic editor pipeline. And when I create my pipeline, the it will require to select your repository currently i don't have a repository and as you can see i cannot continue so then i will go and create a repository under this project and i will only initiate a repository like that just press initiate and you are ready to go and now you have your repository which is called with a project name youtube example so i can go i can now go and create my pipeline using the gui editor and i will select my repository which will be the one that is created automatically so now i'm able to create a task like empty job so first the first thing you need to know is that this pipeline will run on an agent so the default agent pools that are created from microsoft are hosted inside the agent the azure pipelines agent and now is selected the windows 2019 image so we can select for example windows latest or mac os legend or ubuntu latest in order to run our pipeline in a specific flavor of operating system so for now, I will, I will use the Windows latest and I will, under the agent job that I will create first job, I will go and add, press the add the task in order to add a partial task. So this is our job and this is our task inside the job which will print a hello world message so if i save this pipeline we will see that we now have our first pipeline using the gui editor which is listed here so i will go and create the same pipeline using the yaml editor now and i will select also azure repos git and then i will select my repository and press the starter pipeline. So as you can see here, an Azure pipeline.yaml file will be created and committed to our repository here. 
and this empty first starter pipeline already is created from Microsoft and you can see that the pipeline will, will run on the Ubuntu latest image. So in order to have the same functionality as with the GUI, we will delete the second task and we will only add a task that will print hello world. So we have the same pipeline created both with GUI and YAML. So in order to separate those pipelines, you can go and rename them. So this pipeline, for example, will be called hello world YAML and the second one pipeline will be renamed to hello world GUI. You can now go and press the run pipeline in order to get your automation running. Thanks for watching this video. If you like, press the like button and subscribe on my channel.